Just sleeping in the bed. And it's really coming down out there. The quartermaster is stationed right outside the door. So them escaping is all but unlikely. Angelfish? Are you still here? Huh? Wait. Are they? Uh, hey. What are you doing? Don't you know how late it is? And why are you in the corner of the room? I hope my accommodations aren't that frightening. Uh, hey. Hey. You're shaking. Are you okay? You're not... You're not seasick, are you? No, you're not fine. Your head is buried in your knees, and I can still see the expression of terror on your face. What's going on? <sighs> that was a loud one. Uh, and... Uh, hey! Wait a minute. Are... Are you... Scared of the storm? <laughs> Damn. I guess when you can go into the deep expanse of the underwater, you don't have to worry about the full brunt of a thunderstorm. Is this... Is this your first time you've been in one on the surface? Uh, uh, I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know. Uh... Um... Shit. It's not like I can just make the storm go away. Uh, here. Take my hand. Well, yeah. Or would you rather just stay here on the hard floor and be scared and alone? Uh, here. Can you stand? Well then, lean on me. And I can walk you back to the bed. There we go. Hey. Look at me. Look into my eyes. It's just a storm. All it is is just... water, light, and noise. I forget how sensitive your ears are to noise. You live underwater and all, so this must be a bit much for you. Uh, do you do you need me to stay with you uh, until you feel better? Uh, sure. Uh, I would hate for you to have to be alone through this. Uh, uh, here, you can hold on to me as tightly as you need to. It's okay. It's okay. It can't hurt you. Uh, uh, I won't let it. See? Look. We're still here. Um, 
Uh, and if you need anything, don't be afraid to just tell me, and I'll do whatever I can to the best of my ability. Uh, I mean, yes, you are technically my captive, but, well, I did give you free roam of the ship, and, well, I, I just hate it when I see good people sad. Yes, I, I know I don't have the greatest of intentions for you, but seeing you like this, <laughs> it almost reminds me of back when I was younger. You know, believe it or not, my little sister used to be deathly afraid of storms, too. At least when she was just a kid. And I could, I could never calm her down unless I gave her my necklace. Oh, uh, yeah, this one. It's just an old steering wheel from a a ship in a bottle that I accidentally broke way back when. But I I told her it was magic and that anyone who wore it would be safe from all harm. Nothing could hurt her as long as she wore it. <laughs> and it always did the trick. Uh, here. I want you to have it. Uh, I know you may not believe in luck, but that necklace may actually have some good fortune with it. I mean, well, when I was wearing it, I, I did catch you. And I was able to heal your tail and have someone to spend my nights talking to. Although you may not like this, it's been nice for me to actually have someone on the ship I can actually talk to. Heck, if that's not luck, I don't know what is. Here. Let me tie it around your neck. Ah. Uh, there. Even though it may not be magic, as long as I'm here, this storm won't be able to hurt you either. Uh, um, uh, sure. You can rest your head into me. If it'll help you sleep, uh, I, I don't see why not. Here. There. <laughs> and, you know, you are the only one here who can actually breathe underwater, so if worse did come to worse, it's you who's the safest of all. The boys and I would be the scared ones then. Well, I mean... If we don't count that new deckhand we pulled up from a day ago with those enchanted cuffs, they would probably be fine too, but I digress. <laughs> yeah. I'll stay here with you. And well, that window sill isn't as comfortable as it looks some nights, so... I guess this works. Yes. And you can lean on me and hold me as much as you- Oh! Uh, uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> well then, uh, there, there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad I'm able to help. 
And yeah, keep the necklace. It's yours now. Maybe someday in the distant future, you'll still have a piece to remember old Captain Silvertongue by, huh? Uh, hey, if you want me to, I, I know a song that may be able to help. It's an old shanty one of the boys sings every now and then when we're cleaning the deck. Here, relax and maybe it'll help. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down Blow, my Billy boys, blow Soon may the wellerman come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go she had not been two weeks from shore When down on her a white whale bore The captain cried all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the wellerman come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught all hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived below. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was freed, and the captain's mind was night on greed. He'd belong to the wellerman's creed as he took that ship in tow. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days, or even more, the lines went slack, then taut once more. All boats were lost, there were only four, and still that whale did go. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on, the line's not cut, and the whale's not gone. The wellerman makes his regular call to encourage the captain, crew, and all. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and...